from Major League Soccer. It was a structure that was set up largely to remedy the failed NASL, where you had a couple teams, most notably the New York Cosmos, spend a tremendous amount of money on players, which started a, uh, what I'll call a player salary war, where other teams thought they needed to spend more money to keep up with the Cosmos. Ultimately, that was a, a major aspect of the failure of the league. Um, probably the underlying failure of the league, in my opinion, was the lack of a business plan. Uh, they they uh, expanded way too quick, quickly, up to, uh, I think, 26 teams at one point, and uh, not a clear game plan in terms of how they were going to be successful. A major development in the sport in the U.S. has been the uh, construction of soccer-specific stadia. Uh, even though I mentioned the Seattle Sounders playing in an NFL stadium, uh, I think we have uh, uh, at least we have nine, I think, uh, soccer-specific stadiums online with, a, with two more coming on shortly. Uh, what soccer-specific means is that these are stadiums that are built specifically for the sport of soccer. They may host some other events and some, some concerts and, and, um, and, and other sports, but importantly, it's a uh, concrete uh, 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 commitment to the sport in this country. And they don't come cheaply, as you might imagine. So um, New York Red Bulls, for example, which has built, in my opinion, the uh, premier soccer specific stadium in the country, uh, spent approximately $250 million to, to build that stadium. Attendance in MLS today is uh, just under 17,000. Uh, when the league launched, uh, it had its highest attendance rating at, at roughly 17,000 then. It drops gradually for several years, and, but it's been on the upswing for the, for the last several years. At 17,000, it makes MLS you know, a top 11 or 12 league in the world in terms of attendance, uh, which often goes uh, overlooked, I think, by many. The startup investment for a Major League Soccer team, uh, what began uh, in 1996 as uh, something less than $5 million to, to gain control of a, of a team, uh, will likely go to $50 million for the 20th franchise that, that happens over the next couple of years. And that is clearly the motivation of many of the owners in in Major League Soccer is the hope that you can come close to breaking even on an annual basis so long as your asset appreciates. So if you were in the game back in 1996, you've had a tenfold increase in, in your investment. We don't have relegation. Makes 